Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and today I've got another unboxing that I hope is a, as exciting for you as it is for me. Um, I was going to use my, my kind of, one of my favorite EDC knives, but there's something small or thin and flexible in here that I don't want to damage. So I'm just going to kind of rip it open. Let's see. It's a lot easier. And you have to wait on the next one. Anyway, there it is. It is the Vera Craftform Turbo. This is another one of these bit drivers. I really started to kind of like the, the shape and the operation. And you ever get one of those kind of tools that just gnaws on you? You just sort of want it. Not sure why, you know, you look at it. In this case, it hangs out in my Amazon shopping cart for quite a while. Not a lot of YouTube reviews, not a lot of reviews in general. So I, I thought, well, I'm probably just going to need to get one and, and play with it. So I did. And let's open it, first impressions, and play. Um, obviously, I've got a bunch of different rear tools. I've been slowly building those out. They make some really innovative, neat stuff. Um, and I thought I'd give one of these a try. And there it is. It's like on steroids. Uh, basic Vera stuff in the box. So, let's take a look at it. What it is, um, I, I don't know, when I was a kid, there used to be a screwdriver my dad had that had these zigzags through the blade, and as you pushed it back and forth, it would spin. You'd flip a little lever, and it would spin the opposite direction. Um, I actually, let me grab them. Um, I have a bunch of these, well, not a bunch, several, I should say, of uh, these kind of Klein um, sort of speed screwdrivers. This has got an interchangeable bit in it. Um, and these are like really handy, simple, low tech. Um, and I used to do more with electronics, um, wiring stuff. I, I didn't mind these, but you couldn't really, you know, grab it and, and really crank down. So you always had to have another screwdriver with you. Um, and they took a little bit of finesse, um, but they were good. You know, I, I, I highly recommend them. Um, but I wanted to try one of these more modern, um, this is a four to one um, kind of a ratcheting screwdriver, uh, or not ratcheting, um, I don't know what the word is, ratioed screwdriver. So as I turn it, you see this? If I line this up and watch the top, it's obviously turning way faster than the bottom. So that's what I wanted to try, apparently, that locks it in is this button. It says press. Starts and stops it. So locks it in. It's a regular screwdriver with a um, uh, quick release bit holder. And then push the button and I've got my ratcheting in either direction. You obviously have to hold it. One of the interesting things that I wondered about is you can see if I hold this, it doesn't turn. So you have to you have to actually use two hands with it. You can't just let go and have a regular screwdriver. That'd be kind of cool if they could do that. Um, it is a bigger handle. You can see it's it's even bigger. Uh, looks like than this guy. Maybe I'll have to measure it. Um, but you can see. Um, fairly large. This was my old, you know, look ski tech screwdriver and it's about the same size as that. Um, which I always thought was was usable especially when you start getting into some really, you know, uh, forceful twists. However, this is, really isn't designed for that. Um, anyway, um, I like a lot of the um, the Vera products and I thought well, I'll, I'll give this a shot and see see how it holds up It's kind of neat. It's special purpose. So I thought well one of the things where I'm very quick to grab my Milwaukee um, You know for a small job is When I'm pulling the screws out of this Roomba, which I seem to do quite often. Sorry about that um, And I wondered what would this do? You know if I'm here uh, and I also thought, well, to make this work, because again, this is a, uh, a short ratchet. It seems like Weira needs to just make one. 
gonna get this thing out of here because I'm gonna use that little workspace. So here is one of the Viera extensions and I'm gonna swap bits out. There we go, so now I've got this. So the question is how fast and how easy, that, that was quick. But what did I do here? Oh, it took a little bit of force to loosen that one. It's interesting. I guess it's a four to one, so it works the other way too. Um, so I could, can I turn that? That's pretty fast. Um, so if it needs some force, yeah, you really have to apply a little bit of force to loosen the thing up. So this was one of the areas where I wanted, um, so if I crank that, can pull that out. And so that pops off pretty easily. Um, and then I wondered about switching to a smaller screw. I didn't know if these things would get in the way um, because you, I could probably put a different shaft on that has a narrower point. And I had a somewhere in here a narrow little screwdriver. I'll grab one of these guys out of this bit check thing. I think this is the size I need for right here. Let's try it in. No, it might be. What is this thing? Try this guy. Oh, you know what? That's the right one. It was already pretty loose. So I wanted to see how easily I could... Um, so I have to release that. That's pretty fast. Try this one. Yeah. So, so far for this kind of work, it looks like it's a winner. Zips those out and I can zip them right back in. So I can't snug them as tight, but maybe that's good with electronics. So I'm able to zip these right back. It's kind of weird to go that fast. Whoops. Because it's just like two turns and I'm used to so many more turns. Toss this guy back. And in. So I wonder what that feels like. I'm gonna pull out, grab a quick bit here just to see. Now this is a ratcheting one. Not super tight. See how much more I went in after that? Let me try that again. So I'm gonna have to learn the feel of this thing. So there's, yeah, that's plenty snug for plastic. So that's okay. I just gotta go beyond what I'm comfortable with, with a regular screwdriver in order to get this thing nice and snug. Cause it feels like you're hitting the end, but you're actually not. Um, it's just where that four to one is exceeding you know, it, the four to one leverage works both directions, that mechanical advantage. So what's happening is I'm exceeding my comfort level with plastic screw or a screwing into plastic here, but it's actually not that tight. So it's almost like a built-in low torque. I might have to put it on a lightweight torque and see if I can figure out how much that is. Um, but anyway, that's what I was after was this little guy. Um, see how long this lasts. It's kind of hard to push. You have to line it up. Yeah. So there, you have to get it in the spot. If you're outside, it won't go in, so you have to move it a little bit to get that in. Hmm, interesting. I don't know. I'll play with it and see. I don't know if I'm gonna be very harsh with it or what'll happen if I drop it, but, um, but that's why I'm exploring these tools. Anyway, um, the, the, that's the Vera 826 Turbo. Um, four to one speed driver, I guess. 
for what it's worth. With that, Doc out.